Okay, got an email this morning that uh, was very interesting. If you've been following the ministry, um, you probably remember hearing us talk about our time in Eldred, Pennsylvania. Uh, we called it Gasland because it was just totally corrupted by the gas and uh, oil company, the petrochemical companies. Uh, we love petrochemical things, of course, yes. Um, and uh, the whole area is just ruined, according to First Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. Look it up if you don't know what I'm talking about. But uh, we were brought there under false pretenses, and basically I was being used for the video, my video abilities. She was being used for her computer abilities, and uh, by this couple, Bruce and Tammy Ireland. They had bought an old schoolhouse, and they converted the front part of it into, they called it Country Chapel Baptist Church. I preached there. We went there for a while. Faithful attendees, you know, the whole thing. And uh, some of you seem to forget that, that uh, we were part of this, you know, pagan cult stuff, these buildings. But uh, then the back part of this thing is a store, like antique shops and whatever else, little different rooms within the old school that they fixed up, whatever. So we were told, uh, I was told, because I was doing a prophecy seminar there, and towards around, right around the time that we left, and uh, I was told that I was supposed to take it easy on the Catholics because there were Catholics working at the schoolhouse, and some of them might come to the prophecy seminar. So take it easy on the Catholics. And previously... Some of my videos that I had brought out, I had them on DVD, and I was giving them to people and stuff up there. And I was told, you know, we don't want certain people to have them because they're, you're a little bit too harsh on the Catholics. And this one here started to pick up on some of this stuff. See, I was raised in the independent Bible, quote-unquote, uh, church system. She was raised in Lutheran Catholicism. Covert Jesuitry. So, yeah, that place, if you've seen the video on that. Uh, so she's a lot more familiar. She's a lot more in tune with a lot of the Catholic things and the way they talk, the way they act. So she's just like, I think Bruce and Tammy are Catholics, covert Catholics. And I'm like, oh, come on, no, no, no. He uses the King James Bible. He's a Baptist. He's a this, he's a that, you know, whatever. And uh, it, was, it was interesting because she was rude to uh, the pastor's wife. You know, you just can't do that. Uh, you know, you're supposed to be outgoing and just, blab all your business and just gossip with all the other women of the church there and she didn't do it so she we got called on the carpet for that and i i made the comment about that i think most preachers are cowards and um and he said well, am i am i a coward and i said well you told me to take it easy on the catholics and his countenance as the bible says his countenance changed <laughs> just like that you know and uh and he said uh he said, this is my pulpit. This, and this is, is my church. This is my church. This is my pulpit. and I'm going to tell people what to say. Yeah, that's what he said. In those exact words. Yeah, that's what he yelled at me. So, and, and I said, I thought this was the Lord's church or something like that. Or I thought the church belonged to the Lord. And he was like, oh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> whatever. So, so whatever. But uh, we left and we still are signed up for this dumb newsletter that they send out from their old schoolhouse scam house that we like to call it and a very interesting email came in today i'm going to put this thing up on screen we took a screenshot of it we're going to put it up on screen it says here hello everyone you can see the whole school schoolhouse health foods the address there and everything else um we created the website to them for them by the way um hello everyone we have some exciting news to share these are independent bible king james only bible believing baptists okay or so they say. The old schoolhouse village shops and the schoolhouse health food store would like to welcome Mrs. Tanya Steele as our newest partner. Mrs. Steele will be joining us in a very special role as our health consultant. She has, practic she has been practicing as a family medicine PA for 15 years. Physician's assistant. Physician's assistant. PA stands yeah. for. And she's in Pennsylvania, but you know. <laughs> so, but check this out. She attended St. Bonaventure University, where she earned a Bachelor of Science degree. She then attended DUville College in Buffalo, New York, for her physician assistant degree. She is married with six children. Hmm. St. Bonaventure. St. Bonaventure. I don't remember that saint in the Bible. I don't remember anybody named Bonaventure. I wonder who would have a St. Bonaventure. Why don't we uh, bring this up? Another screenshot. Go ahead. We're reading it off the website here, but... Uh, here you just do a Google search for St. Bonaventure University. It says here, St. Bonaventure University is a private Franciscan Catholic university located in Allegheny, Cataragus County, New York. 
Thank you. <laughs> United States within the Diocese of Buffalo, it is roughly 2,400 undergraduate and graduate students. What about the other university, the other college? Go ahead, click on it. The Uville College is a private co-educational independent college with a Roman Catholic tradition located in the historic Prospect Hill neighborhood on the west side of Buffalo, New York with the Diocese of Buffalo. Okay, go back to the email. So this woman, first of all, she's in the medical field, which there's a whole lot of problems there, which uh, more on that later. But uh, she is not a graduate of one Catholic university, two Catholic universities. And she, well, you say, well, she's just an employee. She's a partner, a partner. Why would you yoke up with someone like that in as a Bible-believing Baptist. And it was interesting because, too, when we were leaving, we got kicked out of the house be that we were supposedly able to stay in. There's nobody going to be moving in. It's just an old abandoned house. The place was a rat trap. I mean, it was so terrible. It's fallen down. Literally, the ceiling fell down in the bedroom, you know, the one time. You know, I mean, it, it, the place was just a trash heap. There was no insulation in the place. I mean, we froze all winter long. The one room where we had our wood stove at was 90 degrees, 90, 95 degrees. Two rooms over, maybe 15 feet away, it was 50 degrees. That's how poorly insulated the place was. Whatever. But we got kicked out of the place because they were going to bring their daughter and her husband and their two boys in to uh, run the, the store. And this Tammy Ireland told us, she said, I want to focus more on my duties as a pastor's wife. And, you know, and so I'm going to bring my daughter and give her a career. Uh, I thought the Bible says women are to be keepers at home. But it doesn't stop there, apparently, because now she's bringing in a Roman Catholic physician here that has six children. I feel sorry and, for and, her children. Yeah, amen. You know, uh, they probably have a little bit of priest time eventually here. You know what I mean? If not you know, already. I mean, it's, it's disgusting. I mean, if you're a Roman Catholic, get your, at least leave for the, your children's sake. You know, I mean, it's a pedophile cult. It has been for hundreds and hundreds of years. I mean, there's, whatever, I'm not going to get into that. My, my point is, you know, Bible-believing, supposedly Bible-believing Baptists, and yet they're working all the time with Catholics, don't offend the Catholics, let's partner up with a Roman Catholic female physician. And you want me to believe that these people are saved. And you say, well, oh, you can, are you saying they're a Jesuit? I have no idea if they're Jesuits or not. I, we don't know. We have no idea. But the fact of the matter is, they might not be covert Catholics in, in the sense of you know, secretly they're Roman Catholic and they're hiding under the veil of Baptist or whatever. I mean, they might be. I have no idea. But what's the real deal here? They'll sell out. The Vatican comes along and says, got a little bit of money for you here. Hey, join up with our Catholics. They'll bring you some good income. And I never, I never saw any woman as obsessed with money as Tammy Ireland. Never saw anybody like that. You'd start talking about money. She would stop what she was doing. She would just you just like salivating. Remember that? I mean, it was just like, and she'd, and she'd go, really? Oh, and it was just like, there was never an end to the ideas to make money. I mean, we'd go over there and we'd hang out and stuff at their place and things like this. And it was always like money, 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 money. The talk just money, 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 money. That's big money. Oh, we're making lots of money. Oh, money, 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 money. She tried to slowly get me into a career position there at the scam house. Yeah. And he can say more about that. Yeah, absolutely. Really absolutely. I mean, you know, I'm just going to, I'm going to say something. She doesn't know what I'm going to be saying. I said, I want you in the video because I'm going to be saying some things here. And uh, I just want to say this for the viewers. Uh, it's very important for you to understand some things about this woman right here. I'm going to not be her husband here for a minute. I'm just going to speak about a Christian lady that I know. All right. This woman here has got some discernment. And I have had to learn the hard way about that. There's been many times that she has said things and I've gone, oh, come on, don't do, you know, you don't have to say that about these people and stuff. And time goes by and she was right. All right. And I'm not saying that because she made me say this and she runs the family or something like that. She said a lot of dumb things too that she's literally, you know, later on had to apologize for. 
But I'll tell you what, she said some stuff that I rejected at first, and I don't reject it anymore. And I see it in the comments. She needs to have more grace. She needs to have more grace. Brethren, brother, sister, let me just tell, tell you something. This woman has a lot of grace for what she's been through. All right, She's got a whole lot of grace. And I messed up a lot in early on in our marriage. I'd made some really, really, really bad mistakes. And she stuck by me the whole time. And I didn't deserve it a lot of times, let me tell you. All right. So it gets me very ticked off when I see people saying about my wife that she doesn't have grace and she doesn't have enough compassion for people and whatever else. And oh, her, she treats her parents so badly. <laughs> we bent over backwards for that couple. We did everything that we could. When she was with child with Oliver, they came here to this place. We slept right in this room on the floor on an on a air mattress. Mm -hmm. She's with child. We gave him our bed. Mm -hmm. And they treated us like crap when they were here. Excuse the expression, but they treated us very poorly. So don't, I, I get really sick and tired of people saying, your wife doesn't have grace and she doesn't, she needs to be more patient with people and compassionate with people and stuff like this. Hey, you know, I had to learn the hard way that this woman has a lot of sense, okay? This woman has, she has a gift of discernment of spirits being raised in Catholicism, in that whole system. In and the je Jesuit tree. I was going to say that. You put in my head. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> she steals my thoughts. It's terrible. He does but too. He won't admit now, to Now, just stop. You're, you're ruining the moment here. <laughs> but seriously, I, I just, I just want to explain that. And, you know, and I will humble myself when I'm wrong. And, and I'll tell you right now, I messed up royally early on in our marriage. I made some very, very, very big mistakes. And... Sorry about that. I mean, she knows I'm sorry. I don't have to apologize to you. But, you know, the point is, she's made mistakes in our marriage, and she's come to me, and she said, hey, I'm sorry. I made mistakes on that. So, you know, people don't see a lot of the behind-the-scenes stuff that goes on here. We don't come out and make radical statements about people until we've debated the thing back and forth. And seen you proof know? from the Lord Jesus Christ himself that, yes. you know, this is the reality of the situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean... I'm, we're both very, very, very careful. You know, she's more quick to be like, nah, I smell a snake over there. I, nah, and I'm kind of more quick to just be like, well, you know, I don't know. Let's just, let's wait and see how things work out and whatever else, you know. But here's a perfect example. These people that we used to work with, and we did it out of love too, by the way. Again, we were deceived. They lied to us. He even admitted, yeah, I lied to you to get you here. They openly lied to us about this preacher. You know, non-501c3 too, I might add. For all you out there saying, oh, but, 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 no steeple. Meeting, meeting in a building in the front of a, a store. All the things that some of you try to justify. And yet we were told, take it easy on the Catholics, take, take it easy on the Catholics. And you know what he told us in this little meeting that we had? He said, I know a guy who lost his church because he was too rough on the Catholics. And I said, I thought you said the church was the people. I thought you admitted to it. Oh, well, 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 uh, well yes, but... You know, uh, he didn't believe it for one minute. The church is the building. And it's the holy place. And you don't dare speak against people and offend people because you might lose your building. I'm not worried about losing uh, a building. <laughs> Whatever. You know. It's absolutely ridiculous. Let me read a scripture here in closing. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 14, because somebody's going to say, he made the whole video, no scriptures. Okay, here's the scripture. Of course, they've already tuned the video out. They've, they've already written their comment, and they're jumping off to some Catholic sermon someplace, probably. It says here, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Right there. For what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Belial? Or what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? And by the way, we're not going to show the whole email here, but it goes on to say about this physician, this Catholic woman, is coming there to teach people the truth. You mean the Catholic truth. I think that's what she's referring to. Yeah, but I mean, to. how can you have somebody teach truth when they're not even saved? Exactly. When they're not even redeemed. Of course, the others aren't redeemed either, but you know, you know what I'm saying. Continue. Verse 16, And what agreement hath the temple of God with idols? 
like a St. Bonaventure? For ye are the temple of the living God, as God hath said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. Wherefore, come out from among them, and be ye separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and will be a father unto you, and ye shall be my sons and daughters, saith the Lord Almighty. Roman Catholicism is condemned in the Scriptures. Roman Catholicism is not the church that Jesus Christ founded. It is a church that Satan founded. It is going to be destroyed in the future. It wasn't destroyed. Rome wasn't destroyed in the first century, and that was the fulfillment of Revelation 17, 18. No, 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 no. We're not somehow a millennial kingdom of, of we're in the thing. No, 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 no. It's premillennial. The time of Jacob's trouble is coming in the future, and we're going to be leaving. The body of Christ is going to be leaving beforehand. And there's going to be a lot of people that are left behind. Why? Because they will not separate. And they, they were no... truly saved. Right. Yeah, right. That's the whole thing. I'm not trying to teach work salvation here. I'm not saying you have to separate, and then you're truly saved. Too. You know, you'll separate because you're a Christian. All right. By and conviction. if you And if you don't, God won't let the thing prosper. And they're making more money and getting more and more and more and more and bigger and bigger and bigger all the time. And God's not about to stop them. And they said something about uh, wanting to get like a chain of schoolhouses. Or yeah, they were going to. They point. were. They were looking at. You know, and we and we were laughing about it and stuff. And they and they got. She got offended at that. You know, I mean, it was, it was ridiculous. So yeah, they just money, 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 just all the time, money, 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 money. But you're telling me that I can trust Baptist preachers. That <clears throat> don't worry about <coughs> Baptist preachers, brother. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be coming down on Baptist preachers. And I want to tell you, this guy, this Bruce Ireland, was the closest that I had ever met to a real, true Bible-believing preacher. Every other guy I'd been with had been uh, Texas Receptus only, or not even that, like Nestle's text, like Kelly Sensnig of uh, Brian Bible Church in Ephrata. He was a, uh, I don't even think he was Texas Receptus. He was majority text guy and kind of leaning towards Nestle's. Doesn't believe the King James Bible. I did a video on him. Um, uh, Keith Schweitzer, Mount Zion Baptist Church, Texas Receptus guy, DA Waite crowd, you know, that whole thing. He told me he hates Dr. Ruckman. And he meant it. Um, <clears throat> you know, this guy here was the only one who would listen to Ruckman, watch Ruckman, uh, you know, whatever. Had some of Ruckman's books and things like that. But, you know, uh, I don't even think it was a matter of don't he didn't have a backbone to go against the cap, go against the Catholics. I think that their God is money. Their God was Mammon. Uh, that was you know very clear when we were there, and uh, <clears throat> just a partner, not even an employee, a partner, a woman that should be at home with her six children, but she's a career woman. Two two no, I was gonna say Jesuit. Two Catholic universities. Well, Franciscans, you know. You know the yeah, you Franciscans know. Franciscans founded a lot of this country and uh, ties back to the Jesuits. So yeah, you know. it's yeah. I mean, you can make it the tie-ins and stuff like that, but I'm saying that's not openly Jesuit, so we'll leave that one go. But the the whole point is, uh, here's here's another big issue, which I'm going to say this in closing. A lot of the preachers out there that have these Baptist churches, when stuff hits the fan, um, when this country starts to really have some problems and persecution is that close right now. Uh, things are getting bad in a hurry. And uh, what's going to happen is a lot of these guys are going to sell you down the river for money. Okay? I mean, when they're looking at losing their building and losing all the thousands and thousands of dollars they put into it, and they look and they say, well, I can still preach the gospel, can I? Sure, absolutely. You preach your beliefs and whatever, your Baptist beliefs. All you got to do is, I mean, we recognize your baptism is valid. So all you got to do is just you know, not say certain things. Don't say that, don't speak against the LGBTQ and other perverts, you know. Don't uh, say the Catholic Church is Mystery Babylon. That's offensive, you know. But preach whatever else you want to preach. And they'll weigh it out and they'll say, well, I put all this money into it and I can't lose this money. And after all, I can still preach the gospel and blah, 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 blah. And there you go. I, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Your turn I have to speak. One thing, I have one thing to say. And please take special note of this. Baptist does not mean Bible-believing Christian. Correct. Just because you're a denominational name, like 
bath, like <clears throat> a Baptist, does not equal real salvation according to the King James Bible. Just because mm -hmm. you use the King James Bible does not automatically mean that you are a King James Bible believing born again Christian. Mm -hmm. Just because you use the King James Bible for your purposes to make money and to profess that you're a Christian, and I'm talking to ladies, so don't get any, you know, attitude about... <laughs> She's rebuking, man. She's a female preacher. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. She doesn't have any grace. <laughs> um, um, you know, just because you use the King James Bible to profit off of does not mean that you're a real King James Bible believing Christian. Mm -hmm. Just because you're a Bathlake does not make you a King James Bible believing Christian. What makes you're a getting... King James Bible believing Christian is a is a sinner, a saved sinner who says, "Yeah, I was wicked. I was real wicked. I was into whatever they give as part of their testimony at the time." And they say, "Praise the Lord Jesus Christ for the King James Bible. I am saved." Because of God's grace and mercy, I am saved. Because I repented. But exactly. You know? And I mean, we both get, you know, we get irritated and stuff like this. Because it's just, we're getting this thing all the time now. You're teaching the work salvation. Repentance, you know, repenting of sins is work salvation. Please. Oh, please. You know, so. Catholics just, teach work salvation. Yeah. Because it's exclusion of faith in Christ. Work salvation is, is doing your own thing without Jesus being there, okay? Without faith in his death, burial, and resurrection. So we keep, keep going on and on and on. But I just want to do this video. Again, we're warning you, not because we hate anybody, not because we uh, want to cause division or something like that, uh, although we do divide truth from error. So, you know, we cause that kind of division. That's good. That's what Jesus did. But, uh, you know... <laughs> There's some bad stuff coming, okay? This country is going down quickly, and you need to start making some decisions, which we're going to be talking about here in some other videos. So, uh, but just absolutely amazing, you know? And uh, one other thing I want to say here before we quit, and that is right after we left, they started calling him Reverend, you know, this Bruce Ireland guy, you know, took the title Reverend. And he openly you know. accepts it, as yeah, if so, there's no problem with it. Yeah. So, you know... it. Brethren, you got to wake up. you got to get out of these places. So I think that's going to be it for this video. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.